Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. Today we will understand how to do the prediction for a new data set using neural network in NIME. Neural network use variety of algorithms for training and making predictions including back propagations, gradient descent and stochastic gradient descent. These algorithms involve adjusting the weights and biases of the neurons in the network based on the error between the predicted output and the actual output for a given input. During the training process, the neural network algorithm iteratively adjusts the weights and the biases of the neurons to minimize the error between the predicted output and the actual output. This is done by propagating the error backwards through the network, updating the weights and biases of each neuron based on its contribution to the error. Now let's see how we can do this in NIME. So for this, we will go in the NIME analytics platform. I'll activate the input output node from here. I'll activate the CSV reader node as my dataset is in CSV format. Double click on it. Browse. Reader end. I'll connect heart one at present. Heart one test will be used later on. Click open, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. This data set consists of many variables and therefore it is necessary that we filter some of the variables. So I'll activate the column filter from here. Right click on it, configure. I'll take all the variables on left hand side. Only include age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the filtered table. So these are the variables from which we want to generate the model. They all are on different scales and it is necessary to normalize it. So I'll activate the normalizer. Right click on it, configure. The normalization used will be mean max normalization. Click OK. My request to all the viewers is kindly refer the previous video of this tutorial. Execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the normalized table. All the variables are now in the range of 0 to 1. You can see here. Now I'll activate the partitioning of the data set from here. Right click on it, configure. 80% will be used for training purpose, 20% for testing. Activate the stratified sampling, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, activate the learner, that is the R prop learner which we want. Right click on it, configure. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Now activate. Predictor, multilayer, perceptron predictor. This predictor will get its learning from this learner, but it will get its data set from the partitioning. Configure, change the prediction column name, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classified data. So this is the prediction done according to the algorithm. This is the raw data. Now let's see how well our algorithm works. So we are testing the classification accuracy. I'll activate the scorer from here. Right click on it and configure. I'll activate the heart disease raw data prediction heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So 57 plus 84, that comes out to be 141, 76% uh, classification accuracy we have achieved, 144 cases are correctly classified, misclassification has happened in 18 plus 25, that is 43, so the error is 23%. Now we want to use this model for our new data set. What we'll do, we'll just copy this, copy, control V, we'll bring it here. Right click on it, configure, and we will change the data set here. Instead of heart one, we will use heart one test, a complete new data set. 
click OK. Run it. So one, two, three, all the nodes are executed. Let us check it, see the normalized table. Now it, it consists only of 10 observations. Now we want to do the prediction for this data set. So again, I will use the multi-layer perceptron predictor, control V. So this, uh, this node will get its data from here, the new data, but it will get its learning from the original model. Right click on it and configure. Right click. Execute again. Right click, uh, copy, so that we can see how well our predictions are. So if you right click on it and see the classified data, so this is a prediction according to an algorithm, and this is the original data set. Let's see how well the prediction is by the help of classification accuracy. Connect it. Configure. Hard disease prediction. Hard disease quite good. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. Four plus two, six cases have been correctly classified. One plus three, wrong classified. And the classification accuracy is 60%. So this is a way you can do the prediction for a new data set in neural network in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.